You know something? I'm having like second thoughts about this race. Because I'll admit it, I dropped the second page when I was doing my handicapping. I mean, I went through it, but then when I went to actually do my analysis, I dropped the second page. Hmm. And there was a horse I liked, Ted's Folly. Um, and the reason I like Ted's Folly is he made three hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. I mean, this horse has been making a lot of money. This horse is a workhorse, and I have a. I like workhorses, being one myself. Well, I'm a workhorse on the things I'm interested in working on. I don't like a wasting time horse. But um, this is a workhorse. This is a real, like, he's made $300,000. This horse has run eight times, six wins. $300,000? Am I reading this right? Yes, I am. Um... Ted's Folly has a, a lot of these horses I've noticed they haven't run as two year olds and they used to be like a, a derby issue now he's 10 to 1 this Jose Angel Medina is his jockey who knows come from behind which I love he's RP what park is that I mean I, I really should pay more attention to this shit what track is this horse running at? But it's dirt. His sire, Wild Tail, Tail, he's a son of Tail of the Cat. I'm kind of like, I don't know, I'm something about cat. Except for Cat Thief, I don't like cat names and horses. I have this bias against Tail of the Cat. I don't know why. I met his owner at the, um, when I was visiting Ashford Stud about a thousand years ago. And they were nice. Um, Australians. They were bringing him up for, like, mating him. Um, the horse is a nice horse. I just remember, I think he ran when I was at a Monmouth racetrack with my friend Phil. And kind of screwed up my handicapping, so I'm biased against him. However, Ted's Folly, I'll probably put $2 on him. You know why? Because I'm, I really like the three I picked. The other ones on this page are, you got this Dan and Sheila out of a More Than Ready, who I love More Than Ready. Always love More Than Ready. But he's got... One race. I, I, I fucking hate that. Um, you know, I can't pick every horse of the race. <laughs> Which, you know, that's one of the problems of handicappers like me. But uh, I'm going to throw $2 on, probably on, across the board on Ted's Folly. So now I've got a $18 bet happening here. I surely, surely must cash a ticket. If I lose, if one of these, like... Outside horses come in. I'm just gonna chalk it up to my typical experience. Um, so anyway, it's a very exciting time for everybody. And sorry about not blind topping everybody on the um, emails lately. I like to keep everybody's emails private, but I'll do better next time. Okay. See you at the track. And don't forget to read Dana's great Hello Race Fans newsletter. Okay. Bye.